I am feeling slightly blue, like the egg in front of us. Isn't it very pretty? Right, so, we've got a bird's egg here. I'm not feeling melancholy at all, because I actually don't think that this egg met an unfortunate or an untimely end. I actually think that this is probably an egg where the bird or the chick has hatched perfectly healthily, and then they've just discarded the shell out of the nest itself, and it's fallen down out of this Tamburti thicket. The next question is, of course, which bird is it? That's what I'm wondering, and this is where I might need your help. There's something ringing a bell with an egg this size and this color. I have a vague feeling it might be an emerald spotted wood dove. There is a, there's a couple of birds with very distinctive coloring to their eggs and I'm picturing in my head a picture of a nest and a picture of the blue eggs and it was in the chapter do dedicated to cuckoos because the amazing thing about cuckoos is not just that they parasitize and are actually quite lazy parents in a way. They put absolutely no effort into raising their youngsters. What they do, of course, I think most of you know about cuckoos, is they will go and they will lay an egg inside somebody else's nest and each cuckoo will be specific to a specific species of bird. So it will be Deirdre's cuckoo, for example, might parasitize something like doves, whereas the greatest spotted cuckoo, I believe, parasitizes things like starlings. So they're quite species specific. There'll be a couple of different species that they parasitize. And the amazing thing about something like a Deirdre's cuckoo is it lays the eggs in a way that imitates the natural eggs of that particular bird, which I find incredible because the Deirdre's cuckoo can actually produce or has been recorded to produce 21 different types of egg, all containing the same cuckoo chick, but all different to imitate the different types of species that it will actually climb into the nest of. How cool is that? How amazing is nature? And there's this almost an arms race between cuckoos and the birds that try to avoid wasting their energy on raising somebody else's chick. Now, I'm not saying that this is a cuckoo egg, I just have a feeling that it's a species that the Deirdrix cuckoo parasitizes. So maybe you can let me know if you know which bird. I think it might be a dove. I think it's a little bit too large for a flycatcher. Rebecca, you say maybe a starling egg. You could be absolutely right. I don't think I've ever actually looked at a starling egg, so I don't know what color it is. So if Google is suggesting that starlings lay blue eggs, I mean, they are such beautiful blue birds, it almost seems to fit, doesn't it, when they're in the bright sunlight. Mm. <laughs> Anna says, leftover Easter candy. Mm. Not that I'd want to consume, I don't think, Anna. Oh, look, it can actually, the inside layer of the albumin is perfectly intact. Doesn't look very appetizing. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Well done, Chris Rogue. You are spot on. That's exactly what it is. Now that you've said it, it's come to my mind instantly. It's an arrow marked babbler egg. There we go. Thank you. That's what it was. That was the picture in the book, and I can actually hear them calling behind me. So this is obviously somewhere where the arrow marked babblers like to be. This is exactly the right color, exactly the right size. Yeah, it's an arrow marked. I'm almost certain it's an arrow marked babbler egg. It's really quite beautiful, isn't it? Amazing that a bird can produce something of that color. And it's even more amazing that a cuckoo will actually imitate the different colors of the different eggs. The question is just how fooled the host species are by that. Because a cuckoo egg is naturally going to be bigger than this. It's going to be bigger than the natural egg of an arrow marked babbler. So I wonder whether or not they're taken in by the deception. A lot of the time they aren't, but their instinct tells them to raise that chick. And in certain species of cuckoo, they're actually threatened by the cuckoo. So there's recorded cases of where the poor host species has kicked the cuckoo's egg out, and the cuckoo has come back in revenge and kicked all of their, their eggs out. So it's, it's basically like mafia behavior, threatening behavior, to make sure that the parents actually toe the line. And there you go. An arrow marked babbler egg. I'm almost certain that that's what that is. Well done, Chris. Thank you very much. It was just, it was ringing a bell.